Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake grand order video today. You can be very quiet because I'm trying not to wake up uh, my mom. But anyway, I want to talk about the buffs that came with the Holy Grail Moon Salt operation, which were the four buffs that came for the free to play BB, the four star BB, Melt, the five star Melt, King Protea, the only King Protea in the game, and Passion Lip, who is the only Passion Lip in the game so far at least. Anyway, and that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below, tell me how you're feeling about them. It's been there have been some pretty good buffs lately. I didn't mention the last one, which was I believe to Siegfried and one other person I can't remember. But they've been doing a pretty good job of buffing units by giving them all battery charges. Which is funny, but anyway, let's go in first. We'll go with BB, who is the free-to-play unit. Self-modification EX turns into self-modification affection EX. Increases on arms performance for three turns, no effect, and increases party's MP gauge by 10% when using extra attack for three turns. So let me see how much. 50% uh, crit damage, 30% arts. Uh, charges, okay. So, here's the funny thing. This is obviously not... I, I mean, the arts buff is nice. But charging party's MP gauge by 10% when using specifically just an extra attack, it's kind of useless. The only time it's not useless, funny enough, is when you're using Summer BB, which has the effect to lock down the... Um... Command cards for three turns. And that's basically the only real way you'd be able to use extra cards three times with BB, which is a really problem we get. It lasts for three turns, so it's really the only way you'd be able to get the most out of it, which would be 30% MP. <laughs> so yeah, not the not the greatest buff, but she is a free four star, and I guess under certain silly conditions you can certainly get that to use if you're using an all BB team. Seems pretty effective in doing that. <laughs> I don't know. It's a free to play unit though. Can't expect too much because it's free. But it is nice that they actually are buffing the free units. Because they very rarely do it, and whenever they do it, it's nice. Next, we got Melt. Crime Belay A goes to A, plus, charges on MP gauge. New effect. So, it turns. She didn't have one. Okay, so 30%. Not too bad. With the append skills, you can give her 20%, so it's basically 50% starting MP, which is pretty nice. And it's also an evasion. She's one of the very few units who has an evasion tied to their charge MP gauge that actually lets you keep the evasion. <laughs> Most evasions are for the singular turn, but this one's actually for two attacks, similar to how Ku does it. Um, so pretty, actually pretty effective. You don't have to give off too much. It's kind of always lame to use your evasion when you don't need it. But it being two attacks means at least you got RNG on your side, then maybe she doesn't get hit. Let me see if it changes the star mode. No. So perfectly acceptable buff, I would say, for this. And I believe she's quick. So, hmm. Hmm. I could definitely see for the anniversary of them doing something with quick. I don't know if it's going to be a new quick caster or a quick support, but they need to do something with quick, because now it feels weird if they don't. If they wait an entire other, if they wait another year to give quick another support of some kind. But they've been buffing a lot of quick units, which makes me feel like that's them prepping up to let you know, hey, quick's about to come back in full force, but we'll see. Passion lit, not passion lit. Melt is a very much a well-loved character, so anything that makes her better. She's actually had the most upgrades from what I can remember. Because originally she was garbage. Because of this, yeah. Increase on attack for three turns. 500% chance to reduce O defense by 10%. 30%. And then they made this a little bit better. This third skill was terrible. Melt Vibers reduce all enemies MP gauge for one turn. Reduces party MP gauge by 50% except for yourself for one turn. 500% chance to grant self delayed buff for one turn. Increase up by 20% for one turn. <laughs> and then they made it better. So 
the increased MP damage was for two turns. It's 30% which is a little bit better, and it just became a little bit easier to use in general, so... They've done a lot. Now she's probably extremely solid. I would say very good. Probably... Is she actually the best quick alter ego? I don't think that's true, but... She'd probably be up there. Let me see. They don't know too many. No, Washington Dalman's pretty good. Bazit's pretty good. Alright. Still <laughs> perfectly solid for how old she is. She's the first one. Alright, next. King Protea, Monster Strength EX, Giant Monster of the Great River. Increases MP damage based on the amount of growth buff for three turns. So let's see. That's Monster Strength EX. Monster of the Great River B. It's funny that this is a big one from a B skill to a, an EX skill to a B. Okay, increases on attack for three turns, increases on MP damage for HP growth stack for three turns. 10% per stack. Yeah, that's gonna make her a beefy girl. Pretty sure at 40%. I think this is also her worst skill. Yeah, this was her worst skill. So that makes it much better. Because this can stack up to what, 10 times, I think? And for 10 turns. My grand self for 10 turns. Okay. Yes. So by the end of it, she would have 100% MP damage. Which would be enough. It would be overkill for most things, especially because she's AoE. I don't think there was ever going to be a situation in which you would need that much. But. It's hilarious to think of it that way. There's definitely going to be a challenge quest where... There are challenge quests actually where this ability would come in super great handy and a good way to wipe out the entire field, so... I'm not going to knock it too much. I just think that makes her better, that makes her stronger, and they, that's good in general. So, next, finally, least, but not least, we have... Uh, Passion Lip with Breast Valley going from A to A+. I think Lip has also had a lot of buffs in general. Let me see. Yeah. Did she get an MP upgrade? Yeah, she has. She, I, oh, I always liked her at launch, but you could also see the case for her being made a little bit stronger. That's always been her one problem is she's a little bit on the weak side. But anyway. Use what Breast Valley A plus does, reduce on damage taken for 3 attacks, 5 turns. Grant self debuff immunity for 3 times, 5 turns. Increase on buster performance for 3 turns, charges on MP gauge by 20%. Not bad. She is a defensive unit at heart, so really all they did here was give her a little bit more damage, which like I said she needed, which is only 20%. Charges her MP gauge by 20%, and yeah. Not much you can do. Like I said, Lip is fantastic at being a giant wall. And all that his ability does is let her get her MP just a little bit easier. It probably would have been better to give her something maybe a little bit more defensive. Because 20% is not enough for an AoE. Uh, let me see. Turn 5? Hmm. No, even with... <laughs> no, it's not enough, unfortunately. I was thinking like, oh, but what if all the buster supports? Unfortunately, they need you to give a little bit more than just 20%. So, I still think it's a pretty solid buff for what she is, which is a defensive wall. And this just makes her a little bit more defensive, and maybe it means that she gets her NP just a little bit more uh, in certain fights, in certain situations. So, not too bad. In general, I thought they were, these are some pretty solid buffs, some better than other. The only one that if you were to put a gun to my head and say is actively bad is probably the BB one just because the this no don't search the wiki please this part is good this part is so situational that it would require you to have another unit that just so happens to also be BB on the team no not top wiki thing stop doing this oh my god I hate this site I need a better site I need to move away from this terrible fandom site Anyway, uh, solid all around is what I would say, um, with the only one exception being probably BB, but even then I think there's some fun ways to still make play with it. Probably not what most BB people would want, is we, 
I guess if you're a BB fan and you're a big fan of the free-to-play one and you can't really afford to go crazy and get the 5 one, this is all you have. So you would want the most utility out of her and have an ability that's tied directly to running another BB is maybe a little bit to get the most use out of it. And then even then, the most use you get is 30%. So maybe it just should be seen as something as like an added benefit and not actually something you try and activate yourself. It's not like Space Age Star, which actually has a extra attack ability, which is pretty nice, which is, I think is uh, attack related for Avendria. I think it's an attack buff of 50% for one turn, I think. Increase on damage by 100% for one turn. Yeah. See, if you're going to be doing something on extra attack, make it big because extra attacks are just so rare to actually do. But anyway, that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to talk about. So until next time, everyone, you guys continue having a good day. If you're on the JP version, have fun assaulting that moon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.